the digital product business is absolutely insane. Just the e-learning market is estimated to become a trillion dollar market by 2032. And it doesn't even include a lot of different digital products you can sell. If you decide today, you can start selling ebooks, templates, workbooks, pictures, videos, photo editing templates, video editing templates, and a bunch of other digital products, you can get started. All you need is a WordPress website. Let me show you how easy it is to set up your own digital product business without any technical skills. Let's begin. So as promised, this is a WordPress website we'll be using. It's a very basic WordPress website and you can set this up uh, yourself. If you don't have any technical skills, that's completely fine. I'll leave a video in the description of this video, which you can watch. It's a long video, but you can set this up yourself in less, less than 30 minutes. So you can have this website ready for yourself and everything else I'm going to show you, you can start doing after this. So this is the front end of the site. It's a basic website that I've created and this is the back end of the site. Let me just refresh this page. And what we'll be doing is using a plugin to set up our digital product business. The plugin is called Easy Digital Downloads. It's free as well. It has a premium version as well. We'll get started with just the free version. So this is the website. I'll just head into the plugin section here and go to add plugin. And here I'll search for the plugin called Easy Digital Downloads. And now I can see the plugin, easy digital downloads, e-commerce payments and subscriptions made easy. So you can use this to sell digital products very, very easily on your site. Let's click install now. Let's also activate the plugin. So as soon as we activate the plugin, we are greeted with this. This is a setup wizard, which helps us set up our website for selling digital products. All you have to do is click get started. And now we'll just fill in some information about our site, which will help us set up our entire website or digital product selling site very, very easily. So you can set up a business name, select if the business is an individual or you have, you have a business entity, just make sure to add that. I'll just add a fictional address here. So I've just added some dummy information in the business information section. We can also set up the currency. So I'll keep it to US dollars, currency position and separator. I'll not change this. Let's save and continue to go to the next step. And the next step is setting up Stripe. And of course, if you want to sell digital products, you also need to collect payments. If you start or follow this process, you can set up Stripe easily. I'm going to skip this process, go back once we have set it up and show you how to set up Stripe. Because if you want to set up for the first time, you want to set it up in test mode so that no transaction is happening. You want to validate that a couple of times and then switch to production or live mode. So I'm going to skip this step and show you how to do that after we've done this. So I'll scroll down and just click skip this step. In the next step, we configure our emails and payments. So whenever somebody makes a payment or purchase something, do they get an email? Yes. How do they get the email? If you want to attach your own logo here, you can do that as well. Which email and what's the text confirmation? Everything can be configured here. I'm going to keep it at the default settings and just go to the next step. So let's scroll down and click save and continue. And on the next step, you'll be prompted to install some essential plugins on your site. For example, if you want to, your emails to be reliable with delivery, you can install WP Mail SMTP. That's a check. You can install a plugin for analytics, SEO tools, and some conversion tools as well. Now, obviously, I'll recommend all these plugins to you if you're serious about your digital product business, because each of these will help you sell your products better, find better data and make more sales and revenue. But for this, this demonstration, I'm going to skip all these and just click save and continue. But you should be absolutely using all these plugins. They are fantastic. Let's click save and continue. And now we'll also be prompted to just create our own first product. So we can create the product here as well and later customize it. So let me show you how easy it is to set up a product. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some information here that the product name and other things. So I'll name the product here. It's the basic. So this is a simple, uh, simple exercise or simple, I say PDF that I've created just for this. After adding the name, I'm also going to add a product image. So let me just click set image here and I can just upload a file from my computer, which I have generated. Let's select the image. I'll keep the price just $9. And we can even add the file here. So basically the file means whatever file I'm selling. In this case, it's a PDF. So I'm just going to enable this option here and I can just name the file once again here. I can just name it ebook or give a descriptive name. That's completely fine. I'm going to click the select button here. Okay, once again, going to the media library, switch to upload files and drag and drop the PDF file here. Once it's uploaded, I'm going to click insert into post and just click save and continue. And you've already set up your first product live on the website. 
Now, of course, we need to set up payments first, then we can go and check out a demonstration on how this works and how gonna be a, or how the experience is going to be like when someone purchases your product. So let's head to settings first here. So inside the settings, I'll quickly head to the payment section. And inside the payment sections, because this is a test website, I'm gonna enable test mode. You should do this as well, or it's a good practice to start with the test mode. And once you're happy, everything is working, then you can disable this. And I'm gonna show you the process of what to do and what not to do once you do this. So once you enable test mode, just go and save changes. And now we have Stripe connected. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead into Stripe here and we'll connect our website directly to our Stripe account. If you don't have an account, you can just click this button and you can also create an account while this process is happening. So I'll click this button here and this will start the process of connecting account. If you don't have an account, you can obviously create one. I already have one, so let me just enter the email for it. So the email is added, let me click submit. And I also have the password ready, so let me paste the password, click submit. And I also have to add a 2FA or two-factor authentication code from my phone, so let me do that as well. And once I've added the code, now I, I can see my account that I've created a long time back for using Stripe. So now I'll just connect this account with Stripe. If, let's click connect. So if you see the screen when you're in test mode, that means your account is now connected. We can head back. But once you're in live mode, you'll have to follow this process. You'll have to add your bank account and list from the list of bank accounts that Stripe will present. So since this is done, I'll just go here and return to easy digital downloads. And now you can see my test account on Stripe is connected. Once you're happy, once you do this, once you test everything, when you switch to production mode, you need to connect your account, account once again in live mode. Make sure to remember that. So now we'll head back to our payment section in the general section and we'll enable the Stripe gateway. And we can also enable other things, for example, payment icons here, so I can add these cards and PayPal. So how will you like? And of course, Square and PayPal and other payment gateways are also supported. I'm just using Stripe as an example. So let's click Save Changes. And now it's all it was, everything is done. So let's head here inside the download section, which is the menu for easy digital downloads. I'll click the download section where we'll see all the downloads we've created or just the one which we have created. So you can see here, basic piano chords and scale exercises. This is a draft, it's not published yet. So let's hover over it and click the edit button here. And this page opens up. Now you can edit the content like any other blog post, add some description of this and add images, add cover, everything else. So let's, let me just pause the video. Let me add everything here in a second and we'll resume the video. So I've added a basic description and the image for the uh, piano book is already added here. So let's configure the other things that you might need to configure or even change for different products. So once you're happy with the title and the description, let's scroll down on the page. And in the download details section is where you see a few different options. So you can configure a single product, a bundle or even a service. So if you're selling services, which is not, not what this video is about, you can even do that as well. So if you have a product bundle, you can create a bundle here. For now, I'll stick to single product and I can change the price as well. So I set it at $9, let's keep it that, but you can change it and depending on the currency you have, you can set this up. And the file section, we can add and remove files. So if you have an updated version, you can go back here and remove the file. You can also add multiple download files. So let's say if you're uh, selling a group of pictures, you can uh, upload multiple pictures here, then those pictures will be available to download. You can obviously add a file here and do the same thing that I showed you in the beginning and remove it and reorder them if you like. In the notes section, you can add some notes here, right? And in the settings section is where you can set up some important things. File download limit. So how many times can a user download this once they've purchased this? Depending on the type of product you have, you can limit this or keep it unlimited. So if you don't have anything, for example, zero, that means users can download it unlimited number of times. Then what's the refund state? Is it a refundable product? You can set the configuration options here. So if you want it to be refundable, you can set it default. And if it's non-refundable, you can select options right here. What's the refund windows? And what's the buy button? So everything else is here. And you can also do some other things, for example, purchase behavior and nothing else. But most everything that we want to do is, is set up a product, make sure that payments are connected and people can buy it. Everything is done already even this like in this short duration. So let's publish this. I'll click publish here. And once this is published, I'm gonna show you how the page looks like and how we can start playing with this or how we can use this. So the product was now published in just a couple of seconds. Here's the, how the page looks like on the front end for end users. Let's also do a test transaction to see how the transaction experience will look like for end users. So this is the page. They can look at the page image, look at the other things, look at this, look at the price and click the button to purchase. And now it's added to cart. Let's also check out. On the checkout page, they'll see all the information. They can see the product they're purchasing, the price, 
They can also save the email address. They can delete the product, go back and add other products. And if you scroll down, the experience looks like this. They have to enter the information, then their card information, and some additional information after you add the card information. So let's do that. So I've entered my personal information here. Now let's add a dummy card information because this is a test mode. So let me do that as well. So after adding the dummy card information, I'm prompted to add more information so that my card information can be saved with Stripe. This is optional, but I'll just add some information here so that it can be or it can proceed. And that's it. Let's click purchase and see how it works. And the order is now successful. No surprises there. We set up everything perfectly. So this is the confirmation page. You can see the product here, order status, everything seen here. You can click and download the image or not the image, the PDF, whatever you're trying to sell. by just clicking the link here. So once you click, the download should start. So I'm using a download manager so I can see uh, the pop-up here. So this just shows that the actual process is working from the backend. So do keep in mind that this is the experience going to be like, and they can also click the order details to check out the order details, but they can download the product right here and here. So that's how easy it is to set up easy digital downloads and set up your first digital product less than whatever time this video is. So that's how easy it is. And of course, make sure to uh, disable test mode and enable production mode. And of course, reconnect your Stripe account so that you can do this for actual customers. But that's how easy it is to set up your first digital product and start making money with your website. If you have any questions about easy digital downloads, make sure to leave in the comments. All the relevant links are also in the comments. And of course, you're watching Yuvraj from WB Beginner. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.